Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Saturday. It's a lazy Saturday. It's already three o'clock, and we haven't even picked up the camera. I haven't even. The day just flew by. But anyway, I'm gonna shoot a specific video for you guys today. Not really a vlog, but before we get started, I wanted to show you what Sophie's been up to. You guys know Sophie's been on this journey of learning to crochet. She just started recently and is obsessed, and she's been crocheting like crazy. So she started making, recently she started making these little octopuses. This is one of the first ones that she made and the dogs want them so badly. They're like, we know these are for us. <laughs> Why do you think they're for you? They think um, everything's for them. I know they do. They think everything's for them. Anyway, they, whoops, uh, she filled this whole little basket that she has up with these little <laughs> octopus. Some of the first ones she made, surf, some, so these are some of the first ones that she made. Um, had a little bit of trouble on the legs. <laughs> this one no, looks... they're fine. I just didn't do it properly. Yeah, I mean, they're still fine. But remember, she's just learning. She just literally, just before Christmas, picked up crochet. And she does this without me. Like, she just looks at the things that she wants to make, and then she just figures it out. So she's just learning. She ran out of eyeballs for them. She started out with these ones, so the next time I'm at the store, um, I'll get her a bunch of more eyeballs. There's other things that I think she would really like to make. I'd like to see her make a sea turtle. But anyway, this is her little basket full of, that one's the cutest one. The one with small eyes? Yeah, the eyes are so close together, but they're so cute. Anyway, that's her little basket of things that she's been making. Since it's winter, I have been crocheting myself. I've started this little hat. Since Christmas, I already finished an entire blanket. I am doing this little puff hat right now. I ran out of the wool, so I have to go to the store and get another ball, but it's almost done. All right, so if you want you to see this too, she started like this little journal. It's just a drawing journal. And on every page, she's just drawing a few little things. She's got a horse. Oh, that crab is so cute. It's a crawfish. Crawfish. Crayfish. The llama looks weird. The llama looks weird, but the pug is super cute. Goat is really cute. Chicken. Chicken. That's cute. A dog and a duck. A dog and a duck. No. Right, that's just a short little update on the kind of stuff that we've been doing that we haven't been sharing with you guys, like just stuff we do in our spare time. Um, but right now, I want to shoot for you guys. You probably already know the title of the video is the things that we plan to do to this farm um, come early spring. We're going to start early spring, and we have a bunch of things that we want to change and that we want to work on. Some of the things are things we had on our list before it got cold. We just didn't have time to get it started. So we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna show you guys the things we're gonna do to make this farm better. Oh, I forgot. I also wanted to give you guys an update on Anya. Anya, the little kitten that we got. She's six months old now. Um, still loves Gabby to death. She literally tries to chase, to catch the chickens. We have chickens in, in a little brooder in the house and she tries to get in there every single day. Today, she was one escaped because of her. She was chasing it around. But anyway, the Gabby's working hard, finishing her at the end of her uh, semester and studying for, are you studying for exams? Are you studying for exams? Studying for exams, getting ready for school to be to go to a new semester. It is honestly the coldest day of the year. Yeah, Ellie is the only dog that will come outside today. Only dog. Even Sam didn't want to come out. Oh my gosh. I meant if you get stuck. I didn't mean like make a mess of the driveway. It's going all over the house. Sam, I told Sam to use soot. I watched a video. Somebody used soot to get uh, their car unstuck from their fireplace. And so he decided to just throw it all over the driveway. Like I said, it's the coldest day of the year. Uh, I left all the goats in, the duck, the goose in. Everybody's in today. This morning was insane amounts of cold. Actually feels a little better now. But we're going to start this video in our fluffy butt hut. Ellie's like, let me in. It's so cold. All right, so I've actually told you guys this so many times already, so I'm just gonna go over this quickly. We're gonna make two different changes to our fluffy butt hut. So first of all, we're gonna get rid of that coop back there and we are going to make it be like this coop, like I told you before. It's gonna go to the ceiling. We're gonna be able to walk in. It's gonna just be another coop like this. We're gonna get rid of this uh, baby brooder and we're likely going to make another hut, another 
another coop on this side and we'll just have a path in the middle to walk through to get to all of our coops. So cool. So the other change that we're gonna do with our chickens this year is, you guys saw last year we tried a free ranging our chickens for the first time ever. We've had chickens for probably since Gabby was maybe four. So uh, 12, for 12 years we've had chickens, a variety of different kinds of chickens and off and on we've had them for the last 12 years and we never free range we tried free ranging this year it was amazing our chickens were so happy we loved it what we didn't love was that by the end of the season our chickens had learned to cross the road so they were going across the road and there's not a lot of cars on a road not that big of a deal but one day sam saw them following our neighbor down his driveway and we were like mm, that's probably not going to work for us we want to free range again this year it was amazing for us we loved the experience we didn't lose a single chicken but we want to make it safer. So this is our outdoor coop. This is the coop that they go into um, from the chicken coop. It's really messy right now because it's winter. Kind of hard to see. But we're going to open this up so that when we let the chickens out each day to free range, they'll only be able to go through this big huge fence here and be on the side where the horse fields are. So they will be locked in this whole area that's chain linked. Um, they'll be able to, to wander all around the whole entire barnyard through this little access area and they'll be able to free range, uh, but they won't be able to get to the road or off our property in any way. So that is a big thing that we're gonna do. It's something I'm super excited about. I wanna make sure that they stay safe. While we're standing here, we're gonna tell, Sam's gonna tell you the next the freezing cold. big plan that we're gonna do. It's cold. We plan to put an outdoor arena. So I was thinking maybe that field, but then. All right, so he, I'm always just taking over. So he plans, so we were thinking we're gonna use this field that the horses use to, to eat, eat. It's not very level, we'll have to get it leveled, but we're thinking about putting the arena right there. It come, we can come right out of the barn and go in there. If that doesn't end up working for us, Sam is hoping to use some area in this field over here. It's just that it's awkward to get our horses there. That's the yeah, problem. I'm gonna make a path through here anyways. So he wants to make, that's still really awkward. So we are working on that still. Obviously we haven't ironed out all the issues, but we are gonna put in an outdoor arena so that our kids can finally ride. So one thing that we never showed you when we moved to this house was that there was a big garden right here, a vegetable garden, right where Ellie just ran. So it wasn't massive, but it was a good size, perfect for what we want. So the next big change that we're gonna make is we're gonna definitely do a vegetable garden. I miss having it. Because there was already a garden here, this is where I wanna keep it. I think it'll be easier to dig it up and make it ready. I have some ideas of how I wanna design it. We will be able to use the hose from the goat barn down there. I have a huge one. And it'll come like through the fence and it'll make it watering a little bit easier. Also, I like that it's on the top of a hill, so drainage is really good. So this is gonna be the future site of our garden. So this is another look at where I wanna put the outdoor arena. It won't be super, super huge. I think it'll just be perfect for us. Uh, it'll be so handy to the, to the barn. Look at that, you guys. All of our Lysol is frozen solid. Hello, horses. I know, it's really cold today. We're gonna to put you in early, okay? You feel warm. So uh, something that I really wanted to do to this barn this year, but didn't ever get a chance to do it. You can't come in. No, no, no. I know Sophie brings you in barns and in places, but you can't come in here. She's like, I'll just eat this hay. Out, out you go, out. Pull your leg out, out. Thank you, sorry about that. <laughs> You guys have seen this upper part of our barn so many times. When we moved here, there was a bunch of hay over there, some pallets, it was a little messy. Some hay here. Oh man, it's so much warmer in here. Uh, it's kind of turned into like a catch-all for the stuff that we don't want in the barn. It's kind of messy, but this is definitely something that I want to fix this year. I, <laughs> Ellie just slid. I'm gonna come out here as soon as it's humanly warm enough and I'm gonna sweep all this stuff up. I'm gonna get rid of all this yucky hay. Everything that's a mess. And I'm gonna clean it all up and make it nice. There's just like a bunch of stuff that got left behind from the previous guy. 
stuff that makes it look messy. I want it to be nice and clean. So as well as putting in a vegetable garden, we did. I did some gardening when we first moved here to the front of the house to make it look nicer. And I also plan to do some general garden cleaning. There's like grass all through the gardens in this house. The next thing that we have to do, like it's not even a choice, is we need to fix these fences. You guys remember we had so much trouble keeping our buck away from our does and also our duck and our goose. We're gonna make changes to their area and because of that, <laughs> honey's like, make changes to me. But because of that, um, we need to reinforce our fencing for sure. I don't want them to be able to come up here where the horses are anymore because, because unfortunately it's just too dangerous. Ellie, come, come on. Ellie, come, come on. Hello. Wow. Literally our time outside is over. Sam is frozen, I'm frozen. There are a couple more things that we plan to do on this farm that I wanna share with you guys. So I'm gonna go and find Sam and we're gonna talk about it. But we're gonna talk about it in the heat of somewhere because my ears are literally frozen off. Come on, Ellie. Oh, your face is red. My ears are red. Yeah, red. mine too, okay. So one thing that Sam wants to do maybe. I wanna put a pond somewhere. Just a small one. It's a small one. For if, if we're building that place for the duck and goose, the pond might go there. Yeah, so we don't know. That's the last thing that I wanted to tell you guys about. We love our duck and our goose so much. We also plan to get enough to add to our duck and goose flock. So whew, that means we need to make a better, safer area. No matter what kind of area we make, they're always going to be um, a subject to injury from predator birds in the sky because you can't stop birds from coming down and swooping trying to swoop them up we're going to try and make it a little bit better i think what's going to happen is that we're going to leave them where they are but not have them fenced in let them have that whole area that area down there where we sometimes keep goats but we think we're gonna have that whole area and when they get scared, they'll know to run into the barn because that's their home. We think that that is what we're gonna do for the duck and the goose. I also kind of am toying with the fact that I'd like them closer to the chickens because it just makes more sense, but I don't know how that's gonna go. If Sam finds time and is able to clean out that little side of the shed, that will become our duck and our goose area. And then we'll be able to let them out the back again. So they're outside in the back. That's my dream. I want them all together with the chickens and uh, not stabled with the chickens, but running free with the chicken. You guys, that was super painful. <laughs> I am frozen. My glasses are starting to fog up. We're just heading into town to go to the store. The video is going to be short probably today because it's just too cold to go outside. Luckily, even the camera is fogging up, but luckily for us, this cold snap is supposed to end in two days. Oh, are you coming too? Yes. We are all headed in to do some shopping because if it's too cold to hang out outside with our animals, you go shopping. <laughs> I'm going to be making a video really soon about what animals we plan to add to our farm and when. So I'm excited to make that. But comment below and tell me if there are changes that you would like to see us make. Things that you're hoping to see on our little farm. This is also another contender for an outdoor arena. So just in the front of the house. But anyway, that is it. I'm so sorry if it's a short video, but I'm telling you, it's too cold. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't you know that